This recent generative technology has developed is effectively our collective unconscious. Everything that we have written over the past thousands of years has now, in a sense, been mushed together, stirred around, and averaged, and we all have access to it. How do you have the density of a five-person conversation, but the collective intelligence of a hundred to a thousand people? You know, you get that to scale. That's really interesting. Almost certainly, one of the things that's going to happen is that this new general technology, this knowledge technology we have, will also be changing our biological technology. We'll be a different species materially because of this. It is very, very hard to get the evolution of things that are beneficial at the group level. The best way to do it is a sort of hybrid, where we build in cooperation as a central design principle. If we're trying to build new companies or new platforms, new ways of even interacting in person with each other, and doing that in a purposeful way, cooperation at the center of it. If we're going to co-evolve with AI, it needs to have a seat at the table, but not alone with you in the corner. So this this AI ends up becoming effectively one of your five best friends. I'm, I'm not interested in, you know, technology mediating my relationship with you. Mm -hmm. But if technology can get me ready, so when I get the chance to be with you, and we're sitting down for dinner and we're all together, and I can make the most of the moment, you know, because I've healed, grown, and thrived, and I, we're clear about what's happening, to be really present and in flow state together, I think that's what it's good for. We need to be really purposeful and directed about what we are trying out when we do have the chance to try things out. Evolutionary biology is very slow. Technological change is very fast. And yet the two are necessarily linked to each other.